Okay, well, either way. So we're back. We decided to just boot up Creative right now because if you guys are going through the effort of rating our <laughs> our stream, uh, then might as well. Yeah. But yeah, we were going to be calling it quits pretty soon just because it's getting late for a Darko lawyer over here. Yeah, it's 1 a.m. and I have housemates, so I can't actually be out too late. Otherwise, I get told off. Yeah. He's kind of got neighbors essentially to worry about. Uh, house share. And we have a new tenant as well, so have to be nice. Really, they don't know the meaning of rating. Yeah, no, what are they, a bunch of noobs at rating? Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> Which world did you um, load up? Uh, it's just the empty creative world with uh, with Mr. Ray. Ah, okay. Thank you, sir. I put a little bit of work into this guy. It's got a very golden eye esque feel when you access the uh what's it called the uh camera the camera blocks and look through it. It's actually pretty cool. I'll give you a quick tour around it. I am still loading because you know that happens fair enough. ah freaking door <laughs> okay, all right, so. There we go. This is Mr. Ray. It's basically a space-only ship that's meant for holding other ships that are capable of going down to planets and go back up to space. So it itself just kind of parks in orbit. Meanwhile, the rest of the ships head down, gather supplies, drop supplies, uh, bring it back, all that good stuff. But what I want to show you was the very golden eye-esque feel through the camera feed. Let's see if I can get it. Number two. So this is the throne room. This is the outside. See, this kind of reminds me of like a factory in GoldenEye when you're keeping an eye on the camera feeds, seeing if there's any armed guards walking around or something. I um, found a problem. I'm on the wrong Mr. Ray. <laughs> you're on the wrong Mr. Ray? Are yeah. you on the one that you're pushing around? The one that's drifting, I'm just going to have to remove that. <laughs> yeah, just delete that one. Yeah. Uh, I'll spoil <laughs> I have no idea where that is. It's nowhere near you. Oh, you're all the way over there. You're 100... Oh, that's actually not that bad. It's, uh... I'm assuming that's you. That's 115 meters away? Well, I'm spawning on the new one. It's fine. Ah. Okay, let's just go ahead and head down to a hangar bay. Yeah, he was saying with the um, golden eye thing, because it's it also has that... Um, See the camera's right there. Rainbow Six Siege print uh, sort yeah. of feel. Because you do a lot of uh, spying on people and surveillance. To get your data. Ooh. Remember what we parked in this? What happened? Do you remember what we parked in this? I do not remember. Well, you should come to the left hangar and find out. Oh, that's right. Because we were testing this out. Yeah. All right, let's hop in. Oh, I wonder if the script will work. Or do we have to re -buy, uh, Do you want me to redo it? Script? Uh, or the uh, timer block that you were setting up? Oh, no, no. It's already set up. The only thing that bugs out is the air vent. So it should be fine. All right. So I if I do this... Ow. Down here's on. <laughs> kind of ran into the block. All right. Whatever, it's fine. So what's happening now is the red lights are flashing, and what should be happening yeah, is there the we go. events are venting. But it did not vent properly because the we, tanks are full and creative. We, yeah, we're in creative. And then he um, disappears. It is all I can ever... I can never make stuff that makes the inside of the ship looked good. No, honestly, this is like one of the first times I've been able to make any sort of interior decent looking, so I'm quite proud of how this turned out, and this is literally like one of the first ones that have turned out any decent. Do you want to clear the hangar? Crush. Uh, clear the sensor, sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then once I clear the sensor, it shuts automatically. Yeah. We got it sorted out as well, so when you come near the front of it, it will actually flash and warn you it's depressurizing the hangar. But yeah. if you leave it, it won't fully depressurize, it won't actually open the door. Right. It'll cancel the opening sequence and depressurization sequence and repressurize when someone leaves the sensor field, which is kind of cool. Yeah. See how it starts turning on once you enter the area? Then if it's in survival, it'll vent ten, the entire place. Ten seconds? I can't remember what uh, it. Yeah, it's about ten seconds. Well, full credit to two of us for getting it all sorted out. I just, like, flew around and tested it while I was working on something else. So I you think drift I... in casually. Yeah, I've got the video up on, on my YouTube channel at the moment. Man, there's only three people in this channel. Oh, so much for the raid. 
Oh well, that's fine. That was pretty bad timing on our part. Well, we didn't know it was happening. Yeah, I mean, I think that's the point, right? Yeah. Yeah, well. Oh, come on. Stay there. Oh, well. I guess next time, if you guys ever happen to raid. We tend to stream around about 8 or 9 o'clock GMT until about midnight on a Sunday. That's the aim, depending upon um, games and, and real life and such. Alright, pesky real life stuff gets in the way. Yeah. Hey, oh, yeah, we have why the side. Are you here? Oh, okay. Oh, I'm just exploring. <laughs> I was like, hey, I I'm completely forgot you, about this. <laughs> yeah. uh, so that's the way I came in, which means you have gone that way. You know, one day I'm going to get you to actually do um, full venting properly of the air vents, eh. uh, hangers. I still don't feel it's worth it. Uh, can be. Especially considering you get partial air just by standing next to the door while it's shut. Yeah. You didn't close the other door. I thought you were heading through. I was leaving it open for you. It's being a gentleman, man. Come on. You broke your own rule. <laughs> oh, you did put a cryopod in this one for yeah, me. Yeah, two of them. Yeah. I'm going to be Iron Man. Ah, god damn it. Would you... <laughs> Are you out? I can't tell if you're out. You're like in uh, my blind spot. I'm out, but it dumped me in this door. What? There we go. Freaking stop putting the iron mask on me, man. <laughs> oh, you're in here. How'd that happen? <laughs> do it again. Oh, no, oh, that you, one worked. You yeah. I mean, but the thing disappears for me. I just have to assume it's there, then jump in and then hop out. Ah. Uh, Okay, anyways. Alright, looks like the raid was unsuccessful. That was a rather se unfortunate sequence of events. Does but thank you guys for mean? trying anyways. It would have been a blast for us to experience that had it been during our major portion of the stream. Yeah. Well, maybe next time. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a current bug with the cryopods. Basically, if someone <laughs> hops in a cryopod, I, I get the, the cryopod image over my, over my face. <laughs> <laughs> I love trolling you with it, though. It's so good. Ah, anyways. Get the best oh. reaction out of him. Yeah, thanks Thanks for that. Hold on. Wait. I think Damn it. Hold on. What date is next Sunday? Yes, I should be around next Sunday so we can do that. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I can spawn Warhead, you know that, right? Oh, really? He's going to stop by to say hi? Oh, crap. Hello. I never pronounced his name correctly. Uh, his username, at least. Do you know his name by chance, Kova? Which one? It's um, it's X O X. Uh, hold on, let me get the actual thing. X O C L I W. Mm, can't say I do, but I have no idea if that's pronounceable. <laughs> I just can't remember his his actual name. Oh, there you go, Jock Lee. Ah. Sockley. Ah, oh, there oh, he is. Oh, Sockley, hey, yes. Yeah, he's the video guy, isn't he? Yeah, he's he's that video guy. <laughs> <laughs> See, now that makes more sense. When you said the username, I was just like, I, I'm... I, I, I said the keen, the keen software house guy, the one that streams all the time, the cool one. I mean, they're all cool, but... <laughs> he, he does the quotes, and I'm an avid yeah. to that, so, yeah. Cool. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining, man. I mean... Hello. We were just okay. being filled in by, by one of your guys saying that you know the raid was happening, and of course, as I saw the numbers start climbing, I was already in the thanks for watching screen. So thanks for thanks for trying to do that for us. <laughs> well, we should be on next week, and I think I'm free the week after as well. Yep. Um, there is a weekend coming up when I'm busy, but next two should be good. Yeah, I'm gonna do a quick tour of this. Want to hop in the front? Uh oh, okay, cool. Let's go ahead and actually. Get this done properly. I've yeah, got that, him. That weird keen guy. <laughs> T 
Tuvas oh, okay. and I tend to tend to stream and play this together a lot, and so I've got him to um, build what we call a, a Kova seat. You know, nickname is Kova, um, so that everything has a second seat, so I can sit in it. Right, because I I've always learned to always build a second seat just for Dark Overlord, so he has actually a place to be strapped into. For example, you know, on the back where the thrusters are at, or something. But this God. is the first official Kova seat that's actually meant for him, so Yay. that's actually kind of nice. But anyways, also because he's host and sometimes issues. Um, yeah. Yeah, we're an ocean apart and stuff. Ping's reasonable though at the moment, um, but hey, that's because you got your new connection. Yep. I upgraded my internet and now it's working just fine. But yeah, hey. thank you guys again so much for <laughs> for attempting a raid, even though it kind of failed at the moment. But um, yeah, unfortunately, like I said, just bad timing. But maybe next time, I guess. Of course, I would totally ask if you guys want to join, but fortunately, this is not a very expensive server. In fact, it's just my desktop desktop computer for people to join into. So, can't exactly handle handle multiple people into the server, so to speak. Ah, thanks, man. <laughs> he says, "I'm sorry, uh, sad face. Just fill you in, Kova. I will keep an eye out for you." Well, does he require a cockpit and not just a seat below the ship so he has something soft to land on? <laughs> Usually so I can uh, breathe. I like breathing. So, Tryon, you, you've actually read my mind because I have strapped his seat underneath the, the ship before just so I have a squishy landing pad. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> oh, God, I remember that one. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, you actually rec you you, recognize my name from the chat. You That's actually, actually here. You What's strapped that? the seat underneath it after you had been flight testing your craft so that you could actually zip along the landscape oh. and hit a hill so yeah. my seat would explode and you would keep going. Well, yeah, I I got so used to my ship that I can actually, you know, skim along the, the surface of the planet. Now, I didn't take into account your seat, which is why I accident I um, accidentally... Accidentally? <laughs> I accidentally accidental. hit the surface with your head, essentially, while you were hanging upside down. Um, but, other than that, it wasn't too bad. Yeah. And it's just the logical thing to do, is what someone says. Is what Tryon says. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, That's pretty funny. I guess I'm squishy, so, you know. But yeah, uh, if you guys want... Even give my builds a look out. If you, if you find my build interesting, go ahead and subscribe to it. But Kova has a lot of interesting builds on his... Uh, his uh, workshop. I think I put up my hundredth build recently. Uh, wow, hundred. Yeah, I've got a, I've got a hundred and seven up, but not all are public yet. I've, I'm working on two more, uh, and then I've got a bunch of ideas still to go. But yeah, there's a, a lot of stuff on the workshop, so it should it should suit a lot of people. Um, most of it is kind of theme build. Um, everything is survival wired up. Uh, since Oxygen's been released, anything that's published published since then is all inventoried up correctly. But yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> uh, since they released Oxygen, yes, everything is because there was a big gap when I didn't do anything for a while. Uh, yeah, just I'm getting used to everything. Tryon says, "Damn, I haven't made a single ship. I would show it to anyone." Honestly, I I feel the same way. I mean, I've made a few ships, but there's very few I'd want other people to try out for themselves. Which one? Th you said my messenger was the one that you um. Your courier is your. Courier, yeah. It's a really nice looking one. I really like that uh, courier ship. Me. I can paste that in. Um. That's the one I. In the last few days, I. Uh, Might have ah. been this morning actually. I did that one. You know, I would. It's great that you're showing it off right now, but they can't see it because I just locked myself in the hangar. <laughs> you have I mean, doors, it's right? Really, it's really nice that you're showing that off, and I, I'm going to have to stop you right there, though. We're going to step across and bring their attention to this gigantic hangar wall. So give it one second. Actually, this is a good way to like kind of reveal your ship. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that was actually kind of perfect. It's, uh... Yeah, he's... <laughs> He says, I can't believe you went offline the second I went to raid. But yeah, I've definitely seen you around my chats. Joel Klang is a son of a... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely understandable. Yeah. And I, even, I even remember you following me, I think. 
You know, that, that actually happened just recently, too, because I happened to catch your, uh, your stream while I was working, because normally I catch you on, I think it's Friday nights is when you normally stream. So that's usually around lunchtime while I'm at work. So it kind of works out. Uh, you know, and lunchtime while I'm working at my desk. <laughs> uh, work. Which one of those yeah. things? But yeah, this is actually a really cool ship. I li really like how this one turned out. I can show the disco ship if you want to see. Um... <laughs> you know, I don't think I've actually seen the disco ship. Oh, you've yet. not seen the updated one. Um, uh, not yet. No, that's going to go live in the workshop probably Tuesday. Um, and Tryon says it has a Tron feel to it. With the, I'm assuming with the blue lines and the white. And Yeah, I tr I've tried to do themes and stuff. Blue is civilian. Uh, green is diplomatic or overall other stuff. Um, yellow is... Not there we go. Yet. Yellow is mining. Is that the disco ship? It's the disco ship. Oh, that's right, because it has the... Um, the upper thing, yeah. Yeah, I like how you have the spotlights on the on the words on the side. Hey, it's actually holding together. Look at that. What do you mean holding together? Oh yeah. Didn't it used to pop off? No, not this one. Um, yeah. One of the other ones did. This is a modification of one of my passenger ships um, because we are mucking Super around. Uh, ah, here we go. Ah, that's why it's disco. Yeah, we are mucking around. I mean, we don't quite have a disco it's ball, but that's the best we could do. Yeah. Or you could do, I should say. You and Doc, right? Uh, Doc did the script for it. And it auto um, cycles and changes the colors of lights. Yeah, because it's it's never the same color no. for each light, or is it? No, it'll. Oh uh, yeah, it always changes. Look at that. Yeah, if if you look That's in really the thing, it, um, Doc did a simple script for it. Um, he's listed on contributes when it goes. I, I'm not gonna lie, my eyes are kind of hurting at the moment, <laughs> so I'm gonna turn away from this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> head off to one of the other bits. Um, general crew. I hear the timer going off. I haven't muted that actually because I f yeah. forgot that was a thing there. Not gonna lie, that's a little annoying that we have to mute it every time, but still yeah, not too bad. I did multiple gravity fields on this one as well, so you can actually have a zero G area. Ah, uh, uh, right. Yeah. In case, you, in case the passengers want to have some fun. Uh, oh, well, no, yeah. just on the lower deck. Um, so you can actually switch between the lower deck and the observation deck. Oh, you just there we hit go. the zero that's G thing. Bad. Right, right. Oh, right, and you have all the seats lined up here and everything. Yeah, this one's, like I said, a modification of the passenger one, so people sort of chill out and watch stuff here. Right. <laughs> it totally reminds me of being in that flight off to the Philippines, just TVs mounted everywhere. Yeah. You had your own headphones and just listen in. That was a and terrible then, flight, though. I ate something bad. I, I, People did not like me during that flight. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> and that was 15 hours. I mean, gosh. I feel uh, bad for the old lady next to me. Hangers open. Um, oh, this hangar. Yeah. I shortened the hangar when I was doing this because I figured it's mostly just for disco and for chill uh, out. So, ah, uh, oh, man, I'm, to I'm totally going to pronounce his name wrong. Let me scroll up. Jock Lee. Yes. Uh, okay, so it's, X is pronounced like a J, so Jock Lee. I didn't know that. Uh, I, he says he's got to go now, mate. Keep up the streams. You seem like a really cool guy. Cool. I don't know why. I, it reminds me of the 80s Tron. Yeah, I mean, I could see it as well with the blue highlight highlighted marks and all that. Yeah, that's cool. I like Tron, so I'm cool. Oh, with that. Zockley. Is it a Zock. Z? Oh yeah, yeah. I see. <laughs> I see. He spelled it uh, incorrectly at first, then you <laughs> corrected it to Zock. I see. I see. Got it. Got it. I will have to remember that, or at least try to. Zockley. Okay. Oh, and the shape. The shape as well reminds him of uh, Tron. Cool. It's a really yeah. nice shape. I really like how this turned out. Well, I've most I've got two sets of builds. One uses this very similar design um, for most of them, and the other one uses a slightly larger um, engine hull design. And I basically designed it so <laughs> all of the flight systems are at the back. Oh, so I mean, you try can and you modify the front whatever you want. Tryon says, uh, "Never trust me," and I'm like, ah, I guess that's understandable considering you said that a raid was about to happen and never did. But yeah, it's all right. <laughs> See you, Zockley. Have a good one. Thanks again Take for care, stopping Zockley. by. That would have been amazing. I mean, it already was amazing was that you amazing. were able to stop by, so... Yeah. Ah, that's hilarious. Cool. Alright, I need to disappear rather soon, actually, because it's kind of late. Uh... Alright. And also Joel, I guess, is his real name. So, alright. 
I will let you bounce, and I think I'm going to bounce as well. I might move on to streaming a different game myself, probably War Thunder, because I've been meaning to get better at flying in War Thunder. Yeah. Um, I can watch the stream, but I won't be able to be on audio for that. Um, but I on, have been on the bug side. I'm meaning to bug uh, you to do that, actually. Well, War Thunder? Yeah, because I wanted to see your um, landing. Oh, yeah, that's right, because I'm trying to... I f uh, Joel says, I feel real bad about it, but if I see you online again, for sure, for sure, just keep an eye out for us. We're usually streaming on Sunday night. Sunday night, well, Sunday your nights. In yeah. my case, it's like Afternoon. midday. But yeah. That's when we're both together, but uh, random streams during the week, usually. Mm hmm. And, and Fridays for me is when I stream, but that's when you guys are way far asleep, so. But yeah, cool. till next time. I have, again, thanks again for stopping by. That that was pretty awesome to to hear that you're trying to rate us. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyways, so keep an eye out till next week, I guess. Or if any of you are going to be stopping by and just stick, sticking around, I'm planning on doing a bit of War Thunder streaming so I can get used to flying in that game. I don't know if I'm going to be doing any combat, but I know I'm going to at least be test flying a bunch of uh, a bunch of planes. Joel, it is 2.22 a.m. and you have to be at work in the morning. <laughs> I, Dude, um, you are cutting in really, really bad. Um, too fast. Huh? Hit K. Click K? Um, hit, K. hit factions. Hit factions? <laughs> do you remember what we did with this one? <laughs> um, what did we do? We were the poop faction. Oh, that's right. We were the poop faction. That's why we have POO. <laughs> Yeah, that's our that's our faction. We were doing that. Oh, <laughs> all right, man. Thank you again for stopping by. Everything to you. Try to get to work. Don't fall asleep. Drink as much coffee as possible. <laughs> Till next time. Bye. All right, see you guys. I'm gonna stop the stream now, so it's getting a bit a bit late for me. I'm gonna, I want to start War Thunder. So, see you guys, Dark Overlord. Dark Overlord, take care. Bye.